Hello and welcome back to card number four. So this is our last project and as you can see that's a little pretty sparkling card and um, the inside is stamped for you. So all I did was I used some of the stripes that I took off of this piece and adhered them on the inside as a little decoration. And when you open your package there should be everything in your envelope. So this is the base. Make sure it's the right way up. Then we have these little three strips that go on the inside. And this is our topping. And the topping, um, what I did is I used just a plain uh, Jane uh, tree stamp. And again, our white um, daisy uh, pigment ink from close to my heart. I stamped my trees first in different height so they are not all you know in one row. Then I just used a sponge dauber and smudged on the bottom and drew the color out a little bit and then let it dry. The next thing I did was these little white sparkles that you see are actually our uh, glossy spray. And then glossy spray, well normally you stretch on it, but splits on it, but you could just unscrew this and you just use the little uh, tip here and just dab over your card or on your project. That gives you these little white speckles there all over the place and um, look like snowfall. So that's what I did with mine. And then to um, get a little bit more depth on the 3D uh, effect, after everything was dry, um, we went ahead, used the New England Ivy ink from Close to My Heart and the same stem, inked it up really good. And then I uh, went ahead and stemmed right on top of my trees. Well, it's hard to see and that's purposely. You don't want to really line them up you actually do want them offset so if you can see a little bit here like mine are always a little bit towards the left here and that's fine because that makes it more interesting it looks like real snow on the on the trees so um that's how we created this background on this card and um yeah so just go for it it's nothing um super scientific you want it to be offset. You don't want it to be directly on top. And the finished project here, this is almost on top, but you still see how that white color comes really, really through still and how it dilutes the, the color of the green. Because normally when you ink this up, this green is pretty dark, but due to the white being underneath, it really makes it nice and sparkly. And... It just looks like Christmas, it's like snow, not like Christmas, like snow. <laughs> All right, now um, for this piece, uh, and I hope you can see here, um, I just cut uh, this one in half, but not straight. I did little waves and then I used both sides. So what did I do? Okay, let's start with one side and I'm just hand cutting so I'm not I don't have a template in the bag I'm just doing my own thing here just doing two little swoops and now you ended up with two pieces and this is what I did so I laid down my one piece and then I put my second piece on top so it looks like you have two layers and you have to play with it depending on how you cut it yours might look a little bit different so i just have to make sure that i put this one for far enough down when i adhere the other one that my background is not showing and it should be easy Just leaving a tiny little space here. 
Not a lot, just a little bit. Put this one down. And now we're putting this one on top. And this one needs a little bit more adhesive because it's going to stick on glitter paper. Make sure you got the ends so they don't come up. And then this one I push to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. There we go. I just have to hold it for a second so it stays nice on top of the other one. And when you cut this at home and one is too thin, what you always could do before you adhere the big one that you, you know, the main thing, just take that little strip, cut it in pieces and maybe put them behind, you know, so put those little pieces on first and yeah, you have to, um, you know, check a little bit and see how far down you have to go. See this one here pretty much lines up with the one on the bottom, but that's okay. It's just supposed to give you the illusion of more, um, of a little bit more. Yeah. Snow. Okay. And that is my practice card. So I'm missing my joy to the world. And I'm glad. I think I have one extra. Somewhere laying around here. Okay. Here we go. So this is another very delicate piece. which doesn't require a lot of glue, but a little bit. So I'm just using my liquid here and go around the edges on the big pieces. <laughs> and then you place it somewhere where you feel like it looks good. That was bent a little bit, so I just used my bone folder, just something soft, and just push it down and it straightens it out. All right, so now, because there's not a lot to really work on this card but and to give it a little bit more interest what i did was i raised this whole piece so i used um, some foam adhesive and i have a couple pieces left here these are stripes If you have those other squares or dots, just something to raise it up a little bit. I'm just gonna, for time's sake, do this one here so it goes faster. I did the middle one too because um, it's a big piece so it doesn't sag in the middle when you have something, uh, when it goes through the mail. I mean, this, the cardstock I used here is pretty sturdy, so it shouldn't, but you never know. All right, so double check. There is my phrase. So this leaves just a little space around here. Looking good. And now all that's left is to put our two the strips on the side here. And you can do this either way. I just thought this is kind of a cute way to 
and hand stick hard a little bit on the inside. So we have two shorter pieces and one longer one. Off, but that's okay. I just have to wait till it's dry and then use my adhesive eraser to get rid of it. But it wasn't quite straight. Okay, last one. Just hold it in place. You have it. So here we have our Joy to the World card with a snow bank, snowy trees, snowfall, and our inside stamped. Well, I hope you enjoyed this month's cards and I hope it wasn't too difficult to make them at home. If you'd like to join us on our monthly card uh, excursions, just um, let me know, Give me, um, send me an email, comment below um, if you wanted to hear more about it. And I will see you here back next month. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.